Prophetess Don O'Brien, Sermon of the Lower Dawn's Harp Out Corner here. I wasn't planning on doing a video this morning. I'm actually kind of, um, you know, I started doing that thing where I'm switching my hours because I'm trying it out. Remember I told you that uh, on the last video that um, I, I, I might not be able to do as many because um, I'm going to be taking care of a 90-year-old lady. I'm supposed to be doing this. And that's why I'm asking you to pray for me because um, next um, Saturday, well, um, I, well, really good, yeah, what, let's see, Saturday, what day is that? Well, Good Friday is Friday, so it's Saturday, the 31st, right before Easter. I'm supposed to um, go take care of a lady. They asked me to do this. And so I'm supposed to take care of her. So Daniel and I, we didn't get no sleep last night. We are up. Um, so we just tried staying up, you know, to 5 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, 
I, I'm like, God, you're going to help me. I don't know about this because, you know, I'm not supposed to, I'm, I'm not a TV person anyways, really. I'm not supposed to watch TV. Uh, and she tells me to read. I mean, you can only read so long. If you sit there and read, you're going to fall asleep. So I'm like, Lord, how am I going to do this? You know, and so this is our means right now to bring in finances. I'm like, well, God, is this you or not? You know, in the natural eye, you, you think, well, I better do something. But, you know, in my in my spirit, I don't feel led that this is what God wants me to do. This is what I'm called to do. I'm supposed to speak words, but I need you to help. <laughs> I need um, the, my Christian brothers and sisters to start helping our ministry and helping Daniel and I if the Holy Spirit is leading you because I don't feel that God's calling me to do this but you know it's in the Lord's hands whatever he wants me to do because um, two things happen this is how I know Thursday there was they were gonna help me and come and get me they never came Friday I waited for like two hours they didn't show up they're supposed to come next Friday now, I'm supposed to go to sleep for a few hours. Then I'm going to be up all night till Saturday morning, sleep for, for, for part of the morning, and then go Saturday night. My problem is I only sleep in increments of like four hours. Remember I told you I wake up during the night because that Holy Spirit gives me words. So I'm up and down, up and down. And, you know, I'm not allowed to sleep over there. And I noticed I dozed off last night for like five, ten minutes. And because if I go to sleep, they said she, she'll sneak out of her room. <laughs> she'll, she'll see if anybody is watching her. And I'm thinking, well, why don't they put like a bell on her door so that way, you know, because I'm very, well, I'll wake up right away. I heard that bell. You know, I heard there's like, um, there's a watch that you can get, so when you fall asleep, it'll wake you up. So I, I'm praying, I'm saying, God, is this what you want us to do? Because I don't feel led to. But in your, like I said, in the natural, you're thinking, well, I got to do something, Lord. You know, because Daniel's almost healed, not able to work yet. And he's upset because he wants to work, you know. And so I'm more like, okay, God, now what do we do? You moved out a roommate, and he told me deliverance is coming. I'm like, well, God, are we supposed to just continue to trust you here? So this is where we're at. But if you'd like to help us, you can give a gift to Dawn's Heartfelt Corner, P.O. Box 161273, Altamont Springs, Florida, 32716. And if you have a C gift you'd like to give to Daniel and I, because I don't get paid. I'm, we've got nothing coming in right now. You can make it to Daniel and Donald, right? And then we'll know that's up for us. If you want to send it to our PayPal, because we are... We do have a PayPal. My email is harpoutcorner10 at gmail.com. Harpoutcorner10 at gmail.com. If you go on our PayPal site, there is a, a place on the about screen. It will tell you how to do it. I'll put all the information down here. You know, and you have helped me out in the past. So I, we do thank you for sticking with us and standing with us. I want you to be led whatever the Holy Spirit is asking you to do. Because this is not about Daniel and I. It's about the Lord. All right, and that's all I'm going to say, but I'm going to do a quick video because the Holy Spirit spoke to me once I was up, and he gave me a word, and I felt it was important that we needed to talk about it. You know, in all these videos, I keep reiterating and just speaking to you what the Holy Spirit has shown me because, you know, we're to warn. That's what a prophetic sermon is to do. When they see trouble coming, we're to warn, and that's what I've done I you know, I keep repeating words that the Holy Spirit has shared to me because He wants to warn you because He loves you. Because there is something coming that the people don't see, okay? Not everyone sees what God is doing, okay? Now, I'm not saying God's chosen everything. I want you to pray for me. But prophetic sermons, I'm a watchman. That is my calling. I'm to watch, stand, ready, pray. You know, you may have that gift as well. There are others I know that have a gift of watching, praying, seeking, waiting on the Lord. And that's what Daniel and I have been doing for, gosh, over 20-something years. And it's by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, because I know I can't do this. It's God. It's God. It's all the way God. I mean, there is just no way. A human being cannot sit there and wait, wait, wait. Like, oh, God, how long? How much more? And I know it's God. 
And so now if I got to go to this lady's house and I got to sit there and try to read, I'm going to fall asleep. I'm like, God, how, how bad are we going to, how low are we going to go? No, I know God's in control. He knows everything. Let's pray. Let's invite the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here to say what you're wanting me to say. I just yield myself to you, precious Holy Spirit. We welcome you here. This is the day you have made. We will rejoice in it, and we will be glad in it, Lord. Father, you know everything, Lord. We trust you, Lord Jesus. We don't trust in man. We don't trust ourselves, Lord. We trust in you, Lord. You're the one that directs us, guides us, provides for us. You do everything, Lord. We can do nothing, Lord. We look to you, oh God. We thank you, Father, for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. Father, your hand of protection, Lord. You provide all of our needs according to riches and glory, Lord. We don't need to worry. We come against that spirit of worry. We come against that spirit of fear, Lord. Our hope and our trust is in you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you and praise you, Lord, because, Father, these are the last days, and you're about to do miracles, Lord. Miracles yet we have never even seen, Lord. Uh, Father, a great, huge revival is coming to our nation that is about to touch this world, Lord. Salvation, Lord. We believe that, Lord. Whatever is coming our way, you're allowing it, Lord. I truly believe that, Lord. These are the last days, and you want your people ready for what's coming, Lord. Father, get the church ready, for the church is lukewarm, Lord. Get our eyes turned towards you, Lord God, so that we be aware and ready for what's coming, Lord. We give you the praise, the honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Okay. Now, I'm going to share this word real quick with you. I heard the Holy Spirit, this was the word, and I taught it because I heard it. Time of sorrow at hand. That's the name of it. Time of sorrow at hand. Now, you can go on our YouTube. If you don't have a YouTube website, you might want to make one. So you can go over there and listen to them. I'm going to try to put up as many as I can. But you can go over there and you can listen to the words that I've given in the past. Okay? I just gave a word, just yesterday. California will be plunged in to the sea. Now, like I've said, I don't know when all this is going to happen. Is it going to happen right away? Are we going to see a major earthquake right this minute? You know, I don't know. Remember I talked about earthquakes and the end times, or what they mean, okay? They're, it's like a woman in childbirth. They're going to increase in the frequency, okay? And Jesus talked about it, okay? So I gave a word also in 318. California will shake in the middle of the night. Warning, a major shaking is coming is another word. March 16th. And then on the 15th, I give a word. My voice is about to resound. And the Holy Spirit, I'm telling you, was powerful on that word. The Holy Spirit gave me a powerful word. Then he gave me a word. I remember I told you I was in the dream. I mean, I'm, I'm not in the dream. I was in the gym. And I was exercising on the treadmill. And um, I heard God say, California is going to fall into the ocean. I was like, wow. You know, I'm on the treadmill. And, you know, I told you, I hear things sometimes. I'm like, God, is that you? You know, remember the last time I heard him say that um, California, he was telling me um, it's going to go up in flames. And that was back in July of last year. And sure enough, it started on fire over there. So I know the Holy Spirit is showing me these things. May not everything, no one's perfect, we're all trying to seek the Lord, but I do know that God has been speaking to me, okay, and I have to share because if I don't, I'm going to answer for it, so I can't worry if people mock me, laugh and think this is funny, it's not about you, it's about Jesus, I'm going to tell you right now, because if I don't do what God has called me to do, I'm going to be out accountable, not you, I'm going to be out, so you go ahead, and you can laugh, you can mock and think this is funny, you know, this isn't funny. I'm going to tell you right now. This is serious. Okay? You're going to be crying later. You're not going to think this is funny. All right? So, I told you. I went home and I saw the two men. They see the state of California falling into the ocean over sin. Joe Brandt and William Brand's word for California. You can go listen to that video and then go on that link. Because um, I was in tears. It just made me cry when... That, that ham radio, the guy heard it on the ham radio where it's like to move away because California was falling in the sea. And then as he was talking, he literally was falling into the, the ocean right there while he was talking. And I was like, and it made me cry because, you know, I it is coming. I don't know when or how, but I know it's coming. 
That was something I believe God is showing his servants in these last days. And we'll be wise if we'll listen and heed to it. This is not a joke. God is trying to get our attention. And then remember I told you yesterday. Let me look at this word yesterday real quick. Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday I said, California, you'll be plunged in the sea. Your day is coming. Did you think that I, the Lord, forgotten you? Never. And then he's telling me about San Francisco, California, Los Angeles, Hollywood, California. And remember, I did a video that um, I, I was in California w with and seeing a, um, a man and woman with a, U with a truck, like a moving truck. And I said, could that be Dana? Because, you know, I keep seeing these U-Hauls, too. You know, and so um, then the Lord said to me yesterday, he was talking about, um, he's, he said to me that there's going to be a remnant that's going to be saved. That's going to be over in California. Now, I'm not saying it's just going to happen in California. There's going to be, I believe, disasters in ever, everywhere. So that's why it's so important that we seek God in these last days. Make sure we're right where God wants us to be. All right. It's so important that um, we're where he wants, not just go here and there, but ask God, are we to go here, are we to go there? We need to pray over our families, our loved ones, our, our children, when they go out the door and they go to school. It's so important that we pray, you know. And remember that prophetic sermon, he said that God was showing them to get hotel rooms. There was 1,500 that were coming from California. So I believe God was saying something to me. And now he was showing me about the flood, I mean, go and listen to that video. I'm not going to go over it all now. I'm going to share with you what God shared with me. All right. This was this about 11.23 a.m. He said, the time of sorrow at him. There is a time of sorrow coming to the nation of America. Weep and wail. Your misery is coming upon you like never before, I hear the Lord say. Remember, just yesterday, I gave that scripture, James 5, 1 through 6. Rich oppressors will be judged. Come now, you rich, weep and howl for your miseries that are coming upon you. Your riches are corroded, are corrupted, verse 2. And your garments are moth-eaten, verse 3. Your gold and silver are corroded, and their corrosion will be a witness against you and will be will eat your flesh like fire. You have heaped up treasure in the last days. Indeed, the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, Cry out and have the cries of the reapers have reached the ears of the Lord of the Sabbath. You have lived on the earth in pleasure and luxury. You have fattened your hearts as in the day of sorrow you have condemned. You have murdered the just. He does not resist you. And that was the word that God gave me just yesterday. He said, Our days are coming much like our great grandparents. America, your days are numbered, I hear the Lord say. A great big shaking is coming and I've been saying it, I'm going to keep saying it. Prophet Don Bryan has warned the United States of America and the people of what is coming. You have refused to listen to my servant that I the Lord have sent to warn you. That is what a prophetic servant does. They warn when they see trouble heading your way. You'll be wise to listen to her, says the Lord. Heed to the words of my prophet, says the Lord. Prepare now for your great fall, I hear the Lord say. Then he said, I see America falling to the very dregs of the earth. I looked up the word dregs. It said the lowest of the low, the detriments at the bottom of humanity, often consigned to slums. Repent now, says the Lord. Turn from your wicked ways, for the Lord has spoken. And that was a word the Lord gave me this morning. And if you remember, remember I talked about the Holy Spirit showed me that vision on 12.5 about the shaken baby syndrome. And that's what he's getting ready to do to the church and to the world. He also showed me, if you remember, he said, tell them back on 12.27, he said, tell my people I'm about to wake them up. And on 12.31, he said, hard days are ahead of you, my children, in 2018. And remember, on... Um, the first of January, everyone kept having this favor message, and I kept saying, "This Lord, I want this blessing favor message. Is there anything you want to say to me? Because you weren't saying that. And out of nowhere, I heard him say this. 
my winnowing fork is in my hand and I'm getting ready to clear my threshing board. And I looked up the word thresh and it means shake. Saints. So I know God is warning us of what's coming. He gave me a word on 2 7. I'm getting ready to cleanse the United States of America. So I know that God is getting ready to do something. And I know there are others that sense what I'm sensing. Let me read this poem to you. Let's pray. America will fall this day. America, once look to God and pray. You have walked away, and I declare to you, America will fall. Oh, what may? America, America, no longer is God your head. You have become a harlot making your own bed. How far have you gone turning your back? Make no doubt, God is not slack. The beginning of tribulation is now, says the Lord. Judgment for America is here. Saints of God, do not fear. Stay close to God. He is very near. If you do not know Christ, your time is now, says the Lord. Do not wait. America is filled with horror and hate. Say, Jesus, I need you to save me from hell this very day. If you don't know Jesus, it's time for you to call him. Everyone that calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. That's all you got to do. Say, Jesus, save me. But you need to do it now. Don't wait. All right? Wash me and cleanse me. Blot all my sins away. I receive you in my heart this day. Just call on him. Thank you for your love poured out to me in a special way. Noah gave a strict warning and the flood was coming. No one wanted to listen until it came. The flood came and it did not look the same. This is what will happen to America. Receive this word today, says the Lord. America will never be the same. A disaster will hit our nation. This is no game. Be wise, says the Lord. Listen and heed to God's warning. America is closer than it's ever been. There is a war that is coming, says the Lord. America, you will lose and not win. God is not with you. They have many more compared to your few. In the Old Testament, when God was not with Israel, they lost the war. You are blinded, says the Lord. America is prideful to the very core. Now America will be humbled for all to see. This nation has become a disgrace. God help thee. Where else can the people turn? Turn to Jesus or else burn. Everyone who calls on the name of Christ will be saved. That's all you got to do. Call him, but don't wait. All right? Let's pray. Let's pray for our nation. Let's pray um, for all of us. You know, God is in control. All right? Uh, this word that I'm sharing with you is what I got. And, I, you know, I believe we are moving things closer. And something is getting ready to happen. You know, it could be more than one thing. It could be an earthquake. It could be a war. And, you know, we, I really truly believe we're going to see a lot of things take place. So, Father, we just pray, Lord, Lord, right now. Father, I pray for our nation. We, as a people, pray for America, Lord. We lift up America, Lord God. We pray for our nation, Lord. We pray for President Donald Trump that you would give him wisdom and direction to lead America, Lord. He is the chief and commander, Lord. And we're to respect and honor those over us, Lord. So, Lord, we lift him up and we pray for him. We pray for him. We pray for the Trump administration, Lord, that they would be led by your spirit, not by their flesh, oh God. That, Lord, you would lead America back to you, oh God. Father, there's so much going on with Israel, too. They're trying to make a peace process, Lord, a peace treaty, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. We have no business getting in the middle of that, Lord God. I ask you to protect Israel, Lord God. Keep Israel safe, Lord God. Forgive America, Lord, for getting in the middle of that. Forgive us, Lord, for not standing up for what is right, Lord God, and not seeing, Lord, not having eyes to see in the spirit, Lord. There are those, Lord, that are supposed to be his spiritual counselors to the present, Lord. They're not directing him and guiding him in what's right, Lord God. Father, I ask you to remove them, Lord. Place people, Lord, in there that you want, Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. It's about you and what you want to do, Lord. These are the last days, and it's time we get ready for what's about to take place, Lord. Father, that we have eyes set upon you, Lord God. Father, I thank you for President Donald Trump. He's a wise um, man when it comes to matters with money. But when it comes to spiritual matters, Lord, we're to be wise as servants and innocent as doves, Lord. 
So help us, Lord, to be wise in these last days. Lord, I pray for our nation. Lord, I pray for all those letters that I've sent. Father, for your glory, Lord, that will reach somebody in the White House, Lord. Uh, even um, John O'Casey has tried to warn them as a scientist. He was an advisor to the White House, Lord. He worked for NASA and has a wise, uh, and he has warned them of what's coming, Lord. The same day that I gave a word to move away from the West Coast, Lord, you have given me warnings, Lord, and we have sent them to the White House, and we have warned them. Now I pray, oh God, that somebody would read, Father, those warnings, Lord, that he's given, that I've given for your glory, Lord, because it's about you, Lord. Now I pray, oh God, that you would be merciful to us, Lord God. Be merciful to America. Be merciful to your people, Lord. Put a hedge of protection around us, Lord. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Keep us safe where each one of us is, Lord. Father, we pray for those that don't even know you, Lord. Those in California, those all in other states, Lord, that don't know you, Lord. Something's coming, Lord. I don't know exactly what it is, Lord. You have not told me, Lord. It could be more than one thing, Lord. I believe we're going to see these things that you've shown take place, oh God. Father, I ask that we be ready, Lord. That we'll be ready to handle whatever comes our way. And that you make me a strong leader, Lord. Because I know you're calling Daniel and I to be leaders in these last days, Lord, none of us can do this on your own, Lord. We look to you, Father. You are strength, Lord. And as we abide in you, Lord, you said you would help us, Lord. We lean hard upon you, O oh God. Lord, I ask that you would help us, O oh God. I know something's coming, Lord, even with our economy, O oh God. That you would continue to provide for America, provide for our needs, Lord. Roofs over our heads, shelter, Lord. Forgive us, Lord, including me, Lord. Forgive us for our complaining, oh God. We we want more. We're not satisfied, Lord. Help us to be satisfied, faithful. For you have been good to America. You have been gracious to us, Lord. To bless us, Lord. And what have we done? Complain. We've trampled upon your goodness. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive us, America, Lord. People are so blinded they don't see what's coming, Lord. They're going to be hurting, Lord. They laugh and they think this is funny, Lord. This is not funny, Lord. This is not no um, show that's made up, Lord. This is real, Lord. This is real. We're going to go through a hard day, Lord. But I ask you to give us the grace. Give us strength, Lord, to overcome in your power, Lord. I ask that you perform greater miracles, Lord. We're waiting for that, Lord. You said you're about to do greater miracles as never before, Lord. I pray for the church, Lord, for those that think you're coming right now, Lord. Lord, I ask that you'd help them, Lord. Lord, to be strong, Lord, and that, Father, that, that they don't fall away, Lord, because there's going to be many that are going to think you're going to come right this second, and what if you don't come, Lord? They're going to be lost, Lord. So I pray for them, Lord, right now, that none of them will be lost, Lord God, if they believe in you, Lord, and they've chosen you as their Savior, Lord, that, Father, that you would lead them in the right direction, oh God. Help us, Lord, not to be deceived in these last days, Lord. And we continue to wait upon you, Lord, that you're coming soon, Lord. Not in our time, but in your timing, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Father, don't, don't leave us here to suffer with the unrighteous, O oh God, with the ungodly, O oh God. Deliver us, O oh God. Deliver us from what is coming to America, Lord. Our days are coming, people. Our days are coming. Receive this warning. This is a warning that God is speaking. That God is speaking. That a warning is coming to America. Heed to God's warning. Heed now. Give your heart. Give your lives to the Lord. Don't wait. Don't wait any longer. No, those are waiting. I don't know what they're waiting for. It's going to be too late, Lord. It's going to be too late for them to come to Christ, Lord. It's going to be too late. There's going to be times they're going to die. And they're going to die for more. And they don't realize it, Lord. Oh, God, I pray for them. I pray for them that are lost, oh, Lord, that they will see. I pray for our 
families, Lord. Wake up our families, oh God. We pray for our families, Lord. There are those praying for their children, oh God. Save their children, Lord. Save their grandchildren, Lord. Save your people, oh God, we pray. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy upon your people, oh Lord. These are the last days, Lord. These are the last days. Save your people. Amen, amen. Something is coming, saints. I know it. Not a shadow of doubt. Something is coming. We just need to be ready. We don't need to worry. We don't need to be afraid. God is in control. God will provide for us. God will direct us. He will guide us. Stay close to the Lord. I can't stress that enough. Stay close to the Lord. I don't know how many videos I'll be doing. That's why I'm asking you to please help us if the Holy Spirit is leading you. It's about Christ. It's not about Daniel or me. It's all about God. We give Jesus the praise. We give him the glory because it's all about him. I couldn't do this if it wasn't for it. the Lord. You know, Daniel's behind the scenes. He's waiting. He's waiting for God to yell him. Pray for him. I know God's got a reason. We don't understand his ways are not our ways. Maybe you're going through that right now. Maybe you're struggling and going through that. Father, I pray for those right now that are listening to me, Lord. Maybe they're struggling in their faith. I know I had one the other day that that, that didn't know how much longer they can handle this, Lord. There are those at their weakest point right now even. Lord, I ask that you would strengthen them, Lord. Strengthen them in Jesus' name. I pray for strength upon your people, Lord God. There are those that are going to a rough time, Lord, right now that don't even know how they're going to make it, Lord. But, Father, I ask, Lord, that you would strengthen them, encourage them, Lord, that they'll lean hard upon you, Lord, that you're going to help them, that you're going to enable them to do what only they can do with your help, Lord God. They can't do it on their own, Lord, but they're going to look to you, Lord. We're all going to be looking to you, Lord, because we're not going to do it on our own. We can't look to our, our father, our mother, our friend, but Lord, we can lean upon you, Lord God, because there's going to be nobody there to help us, oh God. So we look to you, Lord Jesus. I ask that you would strengthen your people, that they'll be strong in you, and that they'll read your word, oh God, for my people die for lack of knowledge, your word said. So I pray, oh God, that your people would start reading the word of God. There are those that don't read the word of God. God. Start reading the Word of God. That is a word from God. He wants you to start reading the Word of God. That way you'll be strong. You'll be able to handle what's coming your way. You'll be able to handle. You'll start speaking the Word of God. You'll have the Word of God in your heart. But you need to start reading the Word of God because the people are, they've been lied to. The people don't know what the Word of God says. They're believing a lie. Oh, God, wake your people up so that they'll start reading the Word of God and they'll start believing what the Word of God says in Jesus' name. That's a word for you. There are those not reading the Word of God. God is saying, start reading my Word. Then you will not be lost. When things start happening, you'll realize what God is doing. That way you'll be strong for the days ahead. Do you hear me? If you hear me, then you need to start doing it. You know, I can only tell you. I can only do so much. I can only read so much. You're going to have to do it for your own. You're going to have to start reading the Word of God for yourself, saints. You're going to have to start being strong on your own. Because there's not going to be no one petting you back saying, Oh, it's going to be okay. No, you don't have to be a strong soul. Hold your head up. Hold your shoulders back. Okay? Because people are going to be going through their own things. And they're not going to encourage and say, Oh, it's going to be okay. You know, there are days that I'm down. You know what? I can't go to my dad. I can't go to my husband. Because I'll tell you right now, my dad will give me words that I don't want to hear. And that's what we're supposed to do, Christians. We're, when one's down, we're to lift the other one up. We have to encourage one another. We're soldiers. Do you hear me? We're not no weak Christians. You're not a baby. You are strong in the Lord and the power of his might, okay? We are soldiers in God's army. He's raising up a strong army in these last days. So you're not a baby, okay? You're strong in the Lord. So it's time you start reading the word of God and you start doing what the God's word says. Not just hearing it only, letting going in one ear and out the other. No, you need to start obeying the word of God. You need to start applying it. Doing what God's word is saying. If God's telling you to do something, you need to do it. 
because God sees something you don't see, okay? But if you don't do what God's saying, you're not going to be ready for what's coming. And that's what's happening with the church, okay? We don't want to do what God's saying. So we say, oh, oh no, that's not God. Well, I'm going to ignore it. No, God is talking to us. But what's happening is we're refusing to listen and obey what the Holy Spirit is saying. But we need to do it. God will give us the grace and strength to do what we cannot do in our own flesh. Do you hear me? He will help you. There are things that Daniel and I have had to do that I didn't want to do. But God helped me and enabled me. And he'll do the same for you. Okay? He'll do the same for you. Don't lean on somebody else. Don't lean on asking expecting them to encourage you. Don't expect your pastor to give you everything you need to get through the week. No, you've got to study the Word of God for yourself, okay? You're not a baby, and that's what's happening. We're, we're growing up babies in the church. No, it's time we start hearing the Word of God, the meat of God's Word. We're not growing babies, okay? You're not a little baby where you're a mature Christian. We've got mature Christians that are sitting in the church. They're acting like babies, all right? You've been sitting in that church all your life, but you have been drinking milk, and it's time you eat the Word of God. It's time you open the Bible. It's time you start reading the Word for what it says, okay? Because if you don't, you're not going to be strong for the day's end. I'm saying this out of words of love to help you. What does it say? Wounds from a friend can be trusted. I know people don't want to hear this type of message, but it's time you start listening. Because I'm telling you right now, we're about to see it. It's going to happen. It's going to go boom, just like that. And there's going to be many not ready for what's coming. All right, that's all I'm going to say. And I just want you to know, be ready. It's coming. It's coming very soon. I, like I said, I don't know when. I don't know what, but I know it's coming. I can feel it in my spirit. I know there's others that sense it too. Until we meet again, uh, if I do another video, I'll speak to you. If not, I'll speak somewhere else. I don't know. We're waiting on the Lord. Keep us in your prayers. And like I said, if you felt allowed to help us, please do. Do whatever the Holy Spirit tells you to. All right. This is Prophetess Dawn O'Brien, Sermon of the Lord with Dawn's Heartfelt Corn. Talk to you soon. Have a safe and blessed, what is it, Saturday. All right. God bless you.